Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for Video Magical, and today I want to have a look at ScreenFlow, which is my favourite piece of software for editing video. And what I want to do is I just want to show you a couple of quick little tips because I have got other videos in the Wizard Gold Mac 20 Questions set of videos on YouTube that already show how to use ScreenFlow. So let's just have a quick look at a couple of things in here that I think are useful and new tools as well. One of these little tools is this playhead here which has got an editing feature on it and it's new since version 3 and I quite like it actually. I can take this here and move it to the right and what it does it splits it up and puts in a gap for me which is quite useful it's kind of a ripple uh, insert as it were it moves everything to the right and everything to the right is kept in sync with each other which is a good thing. Let's just do command Z and put it back the way it was and if I move this to the left, then what happens there is that it moves everything that is in the timeline to the right, moves it left and creates an overlapping transition. So when you're choosing where to start this transition, you want to choose it so that you're at the right side of a gap. So that when you move this playhead to the left, it actually sort of doesn't transition over the top of some other stuff that you want to keep in the in the audio. So for instance, if I start this transition uh, edit from here and I move it across then what's going to happen is that I'm going to lose some of my sound in this area here okay so when I play that bit of sound there it's not going to sound right so if you're using it just for doing a bit of uh, removal of stuff then the thing to do is to go to the right side of a gap okay so there we are the right side of a gap and then to bring this across Sometimes it's not very precise when you're doing this. And you see what I've done there is I've managed to reduce the gap between those two there without losing any of the sound from this side of the uh, space that I was removing. I'm more likely to use the other tool in there, which is for doing a ripple delete. And it's where you insert your in point. So for instance, I might want to have an in point there. So I press the I key. And then I'll move the playhead to there and press the OK to make an out point. Then all I have to do is press Command and Backspace. Chops it out and brings it all back together again. Let me just do Command Z on that. So that is far better than having to select all of these things here, for instance. This is another way that you could do this. And press the T key. Okay, so that's split all those things apart there into separate bits. And then what I'd have to do then is to go to the other end of the clip that I wanted to get. So I've got one, two, three. So I've got four things there to select again. Press the T key. And then what I have to do is I have to select all of these to delete them. I'm still left with a gap in between which then I have to join together. Now I can either join this together using this tool here, which it should come up with a thing saying close gap. There you go, close gap. Sometimes you see those words close gap in there in, in, the, in between anyway. So I'm doing a right click and nothing's happening there. So sometimes it doesn't work as fast as I would like it to. But in any case, you can see that there are tools in here which work quickly. There are tools in here which work a little bit on the slow side and uh, you might be well to learn some of the tools which do the job uh, faster. And for that I suggest using the tool which puts in uh, an in point and an out point and does a ripple delete or using that tool where you're using this little red marker on the bottom of your playhead in the timeline. So there you go, a couple of quick tips for screen flow. It's a brilliant piece of software. I use it just about every day when I'm making my screencasts and I thoroughly recommend it. Bye bye now. Don't forget to subscribe so that you know when the next videos are coming out from Mac 20 Questions. Bye bye now.